Yes, uh, we are a uh, small startup company um, founded in 2006, based in Reykjavik. Uh, we developed a new technology to uh, sequester carbon emissions from industrial processes. And using renewable energy, we can make a renewable fuel, uh, a non-biological renewable fuel for the, for the market. It's uh, methanol, which can be blended into regular gasoline for regular vehicles. Our market today is essentially in uh, Europe. Uh, it's also starting to be more in Iceland. And uh, we, we grew from uh, basically a couple of uh, entrepreneurs to uh, a size of approximately 25 people with a, 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 next, a production plant, which was commissioned in 2012 and is operational. And uh, so we see very exciting opportunities for this. Yes, right now what we're working on, um, we actually received uh, foreign investment into the company uh, this summer from Canada, from the largest uh, fossil methanol producer and distributor in the world called Methanex. They're helping us to uh, expand our existing production, uh, actually tripling the output. That project will be done in uh, 2014. Uh, at the same time, what we're looking into also, uh, and we're planning to do, is to build our first uh, what we call commercial scale plant. Uh, our existing plant can make about 4,000 tons of material per year. The next plant should make 40,000, so 10 times bigger. Uh, that is actually going to also be located in the, in the same location, uh, which is uh, close to Keflavik Airport, close to the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. And uh, from there we want to actually build uh, at least two more of the similar size in Iceland, uh, projects which were already identified and done uh, feasibility studies. So that can all be done within the next uh, three to five years, but this first plant which will probably be commissioned in 2016. Yeah, it's a bit counterintuitive. This company was started just before the financial crash and actually raised equity in Iceland for this you know, fairly novel and risky opportunity in the middle of, of this, this recession. So uh, between uh, about 2008 to 2010, that's when our equity investors came in and uh, helped us to, to move to the next stage of growth. Uh, now we have received uh, this uh, in injection of equity from, uh, from a foreign investor, which is an established company in, in this industry. And uh, they actually have stated very publicly that they, uh, they are perfectly confident in, in investing in Iceland and believe it, it offers uh, excellent opportunities and excellent investment climate. Now obviously there are challenges that, that everybody knows about, such as the currency controls, etc., which uh, in, in a certain extent shouldn't deter foreign investors because they have ways to exit. Uh, but are more maybe inward facing and, and, and problems that we have to solve domestically over time. Uh, we have you know, good access to foreign markets obviously, being a part of the common market in, in Europe and, uh, and we, we think that there will, will not be uh, major obstacles in, in raising finance both domestically and abroad but uh, we are here of course to, uh, to, to present ourselves and to publicize what we're doing because being in Iceland also is, is a bit of a challenge, you know, it is uh, not uh, <laughs> And it's not located next to the major financial centers and so you have to travel quite a lot to, to present the opportunity.